I recently fell in love with this new post-processing technique for 3D prints. Today many products are silicon coated and it kind of gives that expensive feel to them. Let's replicate that. I found this rubber spray on the internet. There are many different brands so I'm sure you can find one all over the world. It's not silicone but I really like the feel and look of it. It makes the 3D print seem to be a bit more expensive when touching it. I sprayed some example objects. It needed about 5 revolutions until it felt good. Let's look at the use cases I came up with. First of all, a simple handle. This one is only printed. And this one is coated with the rubber. I really like the added grip to the surface. It works with fuzzy skin too. I personally think this one looks and feels even better than the normal one. I also printed a phone case. To my surprise it deformed because of the rubber. But I think if it was thicker it would have kept the shape. Next is a screwdriver. The normal one works good enough. But with this coated one you can really use some force without slipping. Now let's look at these stamps. I sanded them down to have a flat surface. The one without the rubber kind of works. But as you can see, with the rubber it works surprisingly good. Now at last, another great use case is everything that needs to stay in place. I decided to go with this coaster. I only sprayed the bottom of it and it works very well. What do you think of it and what are other good use cases? Let me know in the comments. If you are interested, check out how to make non-planar fuzzy skin in this video. Happy printing!